Yo, try polar bear. We're gonna talk about three things today that I think would make Sentinel League the best league, hands down, no competition, no arguments, literally ever, okay? So, there's gonna be three core components here. I hope GGG, you know, this is copium. I hope somebody listens. I hope the word gets through. Uh, or I just hope they do these three things anyway. Number one, obviously, the biggest thing they need to do is more balanced passes for Arch Nemesis, okay? There are so many dumb things that can happen when you're doing Blight maps, right? There's so much dumb stuff that can happen and so much of the content in the game right now. The Arch Nem monsters are just still not in a good place. They need to keep doing balance passes. Uh, they need to keep testing things. Uh, it was kind of, <laughs> it was very disappointing how things went out on League Start. Uh, but good for them for fixing things a lot faster. Uh, it was just painfully obvious. I don't know. Uh, I don't know if they need new testers. I'm not going to be mean. Um, but if the testing went perfectly fine and, uh, it, you know, it hit all the marks for the Arch Nemesis mobs, uh, then they need to create new marks for the testers to be testing against uh, because something messed up there, right? Uh, we had so many players drop off uh, and understandably so. The game was in an absolute crap and garbage state when it was released and it was actually disgusting that something this important, rare monsters, got through the game in such a bad state where everybody was dying in droves all the time, everything is annoying, um, new players were going to come in, experience PoE, get farmed in the mud flats, leave, quit, and will never come back again. Uh, it was awful. It's horrendous. It was the biggest mess up uh, since Expedition League, okay? And that's really saying something. Uh, so more balance passes for Arch Nemesis, figure out your testing, right? Whether it's the Rubric that you're grading things on, uh, whether it's the testers themselves and the environments they're in, um, figure that out. Uh, because what might have passed for you guys did not pass for the community. There's there's a large amount of distance there. Uh, figure, that needs to be figured out. That has to be figured out. All right, anyway, the, enough of Arch Nemesis rant, right? Everybody's been ranting. Uh, number two, this is something nobody's been ranting about, <laughs> I'm sure. Uh, no, number two, Sentinel Locker Space. What the F is this? Chris, I swear to God, I heard Chris Wilson on the Bay Class podcast uh, right before League Start. I swear to God, he said, there's so much space. Uh, quad tabs or just like tabs. There's so much. Guys, do not worry. Okay, we heard you from Arch Nemesis. There's going to be so much space for your Sentinels. This shit was full on day two. What the hell? What the hell? Now I've got, now I've got a quad tab and a half full. What the hell? All right. Make the Sentinel smaller or make the locker ginormous. How is this an issue every league? I don't understand. All right. You know, I do. They want us to buy stash tabs. All right. If that's the reason, God damn it. Just say it. Okay. Just say it. Because right now you look like a bunch of goofballs saying that there's so much Sentinel space and really there's not any at all. Right. Uh, now, if I use Grimrose rejects, <laughs> <laughs> if I do Grimm's Rejects, uh, I could probably just chuck all these, right? They're all garbage, okay? They're all garbage. There's lots of magic, there's lots of whatever, but come on. I mean, come on. Make them small. Dude, I do a map, my inventory has like four or five sentinels in it. Uh, what the hell is this, man? Uh, you know, I don't want to have to have my full inventory uh, just be sentinels, right? I want it to be all the other cool stuff I'm picking up in the map because I'm grinding and I'm gaming and I'm having a blast. And I'd be having so much more of a blast if I didn't have to portal out just to dump Sentinels. It's crazy. Can you imagine if contracts in Heist League were two by two, right? Can you imagine if contracts were two by two when they released them and your full your inventory was just full of contracts all the time, right? It's just like, it's unbelievable. This is just, it's crazy. All right, make them smaller. The third and final thing GGG needs to do to fix Sentinel League and make it absolutely bonkers. All right, and this might very well be the most important. All right, GGG, you got a buff head utter. What is this crap of going on Bay Class and saying something and then the game comes out and it's fucking La La Land? when we get in the game, all right? And everything's different than what you said. 
headhunter was not going to get nerfed uh brother have you put headhunter on <laughs> and tried to do some maps uh no that it doesn't feel anything like it used to uh headhunter stalks are crashing right headhunter is just abysmal i've i have never seen headhunter so low and it's only starting to go up now right because people are anticipating a headhunter buff and because exalts are rising headhunter got down below 4000 chaos it was crazy it was like 30 something exalts now as exalts are 130 chaos as they skyrocketed now headhunter is like 40 something and it's actually starting to be worth something still it's in an abysmal state okay i know people that play path of exile exclusively so that they can put headhunter on and make their character big and fast and shoot lots of things and kill lots of monsters okay chris wilson i love you you're supposed to be the last line of defense you're supposed to be my knight in shining armor there with your aegis aurora shield blocking all the devs trying to nerf headhunter what happened did someone get you are you grasping vined right now you can't get out of it did uh, uh, did they did they frozen prison or whatever that dumb new arch and did they capture you in your office you can't escape and now they're nerfing headhunter in front of your eyes it's horrible dude all right they got a buff headhunter i'm waiting for the mid-league headhunter fix huge hopium there anyways those three things would be ginormous for path of exile Three point one eight certainly. All right. Arch and M changing. Sentinel uh, taking up way less space, or us having way more space. Oh, I didn't even I didn't even mention this. You know what? No, screw it. Screw it, mofos. All right. Don't give us any more locker space. Fine. Don't make the Sentinels any smaller. Okay. But God damn it. All right. Let me affinity my Sentinels. So I don't have to dump them in a stash tab and have some dude who got some trade search from a YouTuber spamming me for my good sentinels, okay? God damn it, just let me affinity them somewhere else, okay? Other than the locker. I have affinity to the locker, right? I don't have affinity to other tabs. What's the deal with that? Quality of life league? Pa. Okay, give me more quality of life, please. Also, while we're talking about quality of life, here's a really easy one that would make everybody come be, okay? When you're doing sockets, uh, just let me press down arrow to go to three and then press enter to do the craft. Could we please do that? Oh my God, can you imagine? Down arrow enter and it goes to four sockets, up arrow enter and it goes to three sockets. Oh my God. Oh my God. I'm just imagining how fast I can do the Verici trick on all my gear. Anyways, I'm Tripolar Bear. Like and subscribe, catch me on Twitch. I'm doing the Uber bosses today. We got a melding setup with full suppression gear, 90 max resistance, and a little bit of Fizz DR, okay? With some fire trap action. I'll see you guys there. We're smashing all the Ubers today because it's kind of embarrassing that SSF hardcore players are doing it before Lil Trade cooked me, okay? So I'll catch you guys there. Twitch.tv slash Tripolar Bear. Peace.